If you all have prayed for me, thank you. Thank you for those who prayed for me. In so many words, some people may contact me and ask me about pretty much how to live for Jesus Christ as in how to overcome certain sins from my experiences and from what I believe is true you have to chase after Jesus Christ you have to constantly as it seems to me chase after Jesus Christ as if he is constantly walking away from you. Not saying he is, but as if he is constantly on the move. Now, there may be some guys out there that have interest in a woman. Now, Think about a woman that you were interested in. Maybe this may not be true for all men, but, or some boys, but if there was a woman you were interested in, you would probably monitor that person, not in a stalking way, <laughs> hopefully not. You would probably try to wear really good clothes and make sure your hair is right. Like, you may do extra stuff to try to get that woman or girl to like you. Now, I speak about that to make somewhat of a comparison with chasing after Jesus Christ. If you aren't trying to really read the Bible much, if you aren't trying to pray much, if you don't participate in fasting for Jesus Christ or for whatever is going on in your life, what do you believe is going to happen? I think some people want one prayer like for someone to pray over them and I guess in their mind they may think from that one prayer all their problems are going to be taken away and I think that is so false. From my understanding living for Jesus Christ is an everyday walk. Everyday affair. This doesn't end in one prayer and you can do everything right after that. Yes, prayer helps, but I believe demons, I believe all of that is true. I believe demons are going to constantly attack you. I am not saying to give in to the attacks, but Living for Christ is an everyday walk. Like, you know, I like, I like to do things in an easy way. I like to, you know, if there is a difficult way, like most times, I believe I am going to try to find the easy route. But when it comes down to living for Jesus Christ, the easiest way, I think, is to seek after him. What do I do? I don't read the Bible every day. But when I learn something, especially if it is something I have to change, I believe I try to place it in my everyday life, if that makes any sense. So if I have an anger problem and the Bible says this and that about anger, I will try to place what I learn in my everyday life. Or I may listen to teachings about the Bible so I can learn more. 
Stop thinking, if you are thinking in this way, stop thinking that living for Jesus Christ is going to be super easy. Like, like, it's as easy as placing icing on a cake. From my experiences, living for Jesus Christ is not easy. I think it is constant denial, constant denial of stuff that is not right. So I believe if you are not right, you have to constantly deny yourself. Some people may not like that. Some people may not be interested in stuff like that, but what other choice do you have? If you have been sinning for years, do you believe you can, like, do you believe you can come to Jesus Christ and stay as you are? If you aren't right, don't you have to change? Don't I have to change? Don't I? So, work at it. Kevin, I keep on sinning. Okay, what are you doing? Well, Kevin, I am not praying. I am not fasting. I don't read the Bible. If I do pray, I pray for about two or three seconds before I go to sleep. And, and I expect other people to pray for me to carry me on in this life. So, I am really lazy in doing the things of God, but I expect miraculous things to happen. Look, ah. Do you know how that sound? You need to chase after God. Chase after him. Constantly try to learn myself. I am constantly trying to learn more about Jesus Christ. Constantly. I am listening to I listen to Christian music. I listen to the audio Bible. I talk to people about God. And I listen to teachings. I read the Bible. Sometimes I fast. I am chasing. I may not chase after God as some people. But in essence, I am chasing after God. Look now. What are you interested in life? What are you interested in in life? You know, you like you may like putting on makeup. You may like to fix up your hair. You may know so many hairstyles. You may know how to make up your face really well. You may be very stylish, like you may have a strong interest in buying clothes and looking real nice. You may have a strong interest in playing sports or whatever else. So you may play so much of your time in your hobbies and you may be very good in doing your hobbies. Okay. Do you share the same enthusiasm as you do in your hobbies with living for Jesus Christ. If you don't, there go your problem. There may be, there may go your problem there. You have to be enthused, if I am saying that right, in living for Jesus Christ. Like you have to take an interest. Myself, Look now, I think we all can make mistakes. I think we all may fall short here and there. But ultimately, I can say, I am never going to turn back to a lifestyle of sin consistently. Why? Because... I tried that many times already, and it doesn't work for me. Never works for me. 
So many bad things happens to me, I believe, when I turn back to that lifestyle. So I may make mistakes. I may not do everything right. I may not be top elite Uncle Kev, Christian Uncle Kev, but I am trying. Look now. You need to take a strong interest <clears throat> in living for Jesus Christ. Don't see it as a side quest. Side quest. <laughs> side hobby. Don't see it as an optional thing. Well, I could spend some time with Jesus, but let me just ask him for forgiveness and do my own thing and no take interest in trying to become near to him if you want to get near a man or a woman what are you going to do you may talk to that person you may try to spend some time with that person right you may ask that person questions and all that good stuff like that like you would ultimately, I believe you would do things. Lost my train of thought. <laughs> ultimately, I believe you will do things concerning that person. Whether it is trying to learn about that person, whether it is trying to understand and whatever else concerning that person. Okay, isn't Jesus Christ the same? Talk to him, pray to him. Yes, you may not hear an actual voice back, but talk to him. Do things that pertains to him, right? Let me stop here. God bless you.